Hello guys, hope you are doing good. So have you recently moved to Austria and have you heard this word Meldezettel? Um, have you have you ever tried to fill up the Meldezettel? So I mean, I mean if you want to know about this, please continue watching my video. In the video, basically I do videos in Hindi. Um, and this video I'm going to do it in English and there'll be a bit of German too I mean uh, so since I am not a native speaker of both these languages maybe there will be mistakes so please forgive me also I have a daughter who is like about three years old and she can make noise so if you hear some background noise uh, uh, no, so please do forgive me for that as well. Now, continuing on, today I'm going to talk about Melita Zettel. Uh, just to give an overview, we'll discuss on this in more detail. Melita Zettel is like a res residence registration form that you need to fill up once you move to an apartment here and you have to do it in three days. Uh, the thing is, the Melita Zettel form is in German and maybe there will be many expats who come here and they don't know German yet and they have difficulty in filling up the form. I had to fill the Melda Settel thrice. Uh, so for the first two times I didn't have any problem. The Melda Settel was, all, the first Melda Settel was already filled in by my employer and he helped me out and he did not fill out the entire form. I submitted the Melda Settel in 10th district and the lady there was super nice and uh, she she accepted the Melda Zettel, you know. I don't know what she uh, she did. She filled up the entire form or not. But whatever the form was filled, she accepted it. And same was the case when I got my apartment and I moved to another apartment. Uh, I did the same. And there was no problems whatsoever. But then the third time when my wife and kid came in. And I exactly filled in the form for them. Uh, like I had done the previous two times, but this time uh, there was an incident like, you know, uh, the officer that was there, uh, they did not, they said that this form is not filled properly. So I was like, uh, okay, can you help me out? But they said, no, go and fill it out. And we could not, uh, we filled whatever we knew and then again came there. But this time uh, the uh, officer was a bit angry and likely so because I never knew that the Melita Settle has to be filled out, you know, the, all the fields had to be filled out because the first two times um, it was accepted. So I thought that's how I had to fill. And since it was in German, I did not have a clue. So I had to go back home, do translation and fill out the form. Hope such incident does not happen to you as well. So that's why I'm creating a video to give you an idea about what Melita Settle is and how to fill out the form. Hope this will help other expats or people who are coming from other countries here and who don't have proficiency in German yet. Having said so, let's begin. So let's see what our dear friend Google has to say about Meldezettel rules. So first let's check what are the Meldezettel rules. So we here have at least two which I would because they are the official website. So I'll open those two links. The one is from the government of Austria, like, you know, Austrian website, the federal website. And then there is one for Vienna. This particular video is specifically for Vienna because that's where I had filled the medal setter. Um, but having said that, we can just look out what is there in the government website for Austria itself. You know, so just giving you a high level overview. So as per the government of Austria, like, you know, the, doc the official documentation says that Persons establishing their residence in Austria must register to the competent registration authority, which they call Melde Behorde for themselves and all minors living in the same household. And when should you register? So the registration is called Unmeldo. You have to register when you first move in or first establish an accommodation in Austria. If you change your main residence within Austria, like, you know, you have an apartment, then you're switching off in another apartment, renting somewhere else. Or if you have 
a second residence you know the third point says that if you have your main residence and then you have further have another residence so in all the three cases you must go and register uh, at least declare fill out the registration form and declare saying that you know this is where i live or this is these are my details okay and uh, one more thing that is important is in case a newborn baby is there's a newborn baby registration has to be done for the newborn baby as as well okay i'll share the link of this website below uh, in the description so that you can see it because i'm not going to go through all the rules and everything uh, but just you know so it also mentions that if you don't fill it up you have to pay 726 euros for the first offense and for every other offense the fine can go up to 2180 euros so you have to be sure that you fill out this form and the deadline is within three days after moving so once you move to an apartment within three days you have to fill out this form okay uh, other than that uh, let's take a look at the vnes version itself because i i will share the link as i mentioned for the uh, for people who are in austria but not in vienna so that this helps them out but let's see what are the rules for vienna because that's where i did and uh, that's where i know how it was done okay again this says the same thing uh, so there's nothing different once you have arrived in vienna you have to register with the local authorities within the first three days upon arrival okay also if you switch flats during your stay you have to deregister from your old flat and register again at your new flat so that's what you have to do mm -hmm. which documents do you have to present at the registration officer so here it specifies the form itself the medical settle which we'll look into very soon and some sort of personal identification document in my case i had uh, i had brought the passport okay so but they have specified all these documents are accepted like personal identification document that verify all your identity data for let like first name last name last name before your marriage date of birth place of birth uh, so it can be your driving license certificate of citizenship passport birth certificate etc etc okay if you are not an austrian citizen you have to present a passport that is valid travel document any fee that you have to pay no this is completely free you know as far as i did at least for registry there are a couple of fees mentioned but i'm not going through that it is special cases but if you want to register as soon as you move to a flat the fee there is no free uh, there is no fee it's free of charge sorry uh, fee and free sounds the same okay i'll come where we should go and submit the form but before that let's look at the form in itself so i guess this is the form let's open it out so the form has opened let me see is this big enough let me make it a bit bigger i hope this should be fine okay so i'll just fill in the form so family and name is your last name fill out the last name here then you fill out your first name here as per your passport so if your passport contains two names in the first name part so fill out that this section i left it empty so this means that if you have a different last name before marriage so in case of i guess uh, like you know before like the uh, like for wife or a lady who has a different first last name for marriage that can be specified here no mandatory uh, then there is uh, date of birth so this means date of birth so let's say you are you are born on 1989 or something like that then this section says whether you are man of a male or female so this is for male and this is for female you can put your religion here put hindu this is a city where your uh, uh, your travel document is from like you know uh, no sorry this is not that so this is your 
place of birth. So here you can put, let's say if you're born in Delhi, make sure this is as per the passport. So that was what I wanted to tell earlier. So this is uh, as per the passport, the place of birth that has to be specified here. Then this is the status, marital status. So if you're single, married, so this means married for highlighted means married, lady means single. Okay, so I am married, so I put married here, but other options are besides single. If you are in a registered relationship, like you, you have a partner, you have registered but not married yet, so that you can specify here. This is for divorced. This section, this is for divorced. This in case your marriage was annulled. So this is not same as divorced. This is if your marriage was void from the first day itself, like, you know, the marriage happened, but it was void. So that is what this is. But this is your marriage happened and then you legally got divorced. So that is what this means. Then uh, this one is uh, like, you know, the, your registered partnership is annulled. So let's say this is for registered partnership. But if this is like, you know, when your whatever partnership you had with your partner, that was annulled. That is what this is. This is in case you are widowed. And finally, this is in case you are a surviving registered partner. Uh, that is similar to widowed, but in case of registered partner, like, you know, you are living with a partner, but your partner has expired, unfortunately. So that's what this is. So for me, it was for hierated. For hierated. Here you would specify, you know, what is your country. If it is Austria, then it's Austria, like, you know, where you're from. I am from India, so I would specify here India. Okay, so this I did not fill it out. I just, for preparing this video, I was looking what this is. This is supposed to be a number that, uh, like, the government maintains a registry which has a 12-digit number for every registered person here. So if you know that registration number, you can specify it here. I don't know it. I just saw this now, but I did not fill it out. But if they ask it, that's what it is, you know. So let me show you in the government website. So here they have mentioned ZMR ZAL, ZAL is number. This number must be declared as far as it is known. So if it is known, you must declare it. Thus, it is a central register number. So it is 12 figure number. And this is arbitrarily located, allocated by the system and are used for identification of the identification by the authorities. Sorry. So it is used for identification by the authorities and it's a 12 digit number that is allocated by, uh, by the government itself. Okay. So this I kept it blank. If you know it, please fill it out here. This would be your document that from which that information is like you know your rise day document travel document so in my case it is passport and here you can specify your passport number here you can specify where the passport number was passport was issued let's say it's passport office specified here uh, normally in passport itself it is mentioned where the passport was no? No. here you specify the date on which it was issued let's say Okay, and then now here comes the information about the place where you have moved to. So this is uh, your residence address for which you are registering this mail you know? So for which this form you are filling it out for. So here you will specify your address, like street address. So if your street address is, let's say, cars, cars, something, 
house number is three so this all is dummy so this is not actual number first of all let's say you are in first district and living in vienna now in case you the above address is not your main address then you specify no here so you have another so this is your, this is just a secondary residence then you specify nine here and then you specify the primary residence address okay so when nine hopped one zits blacked in so when no your main residence is and then you specify your uh, main residence address if it is your main address then you specify yes okay this means that you are coming from uh, some other country so here you can specify no and i don't have option to write here anything but you can write it once you print it out this form th this online form does not have option to write so here you can specify you know india if you're coming from your country specify your country here no now this particular section is to be filled out if you are uh you if you want to deregister your address you know so you don't want uh you want to notify authority that you are moving out of this address so i do not have to fill out this in both cases i don't know why but uh no i do not fill this out at all but if you're moving out you fill out this address and then you can specify yes in case you are moving out of austria if you are not moving out of austria then you have to specify nine Now, finally, here comes the place where you can specify uh, your name, signature, and date. Here, it's only mentioned date and signature, so that's enough. So, date and signature is more than enough here. And in this part, you want to get the signature from the person from whom you have rented the apartment. So, in my case, it was the brokerage firm. So, the first term, the uh, brokerage firm themselves put a stamp, signed it, and uh, wrote his name, the, the residence firm, the, the real estate agent's firm's name was specified here, his ad sign was there, and his ad date, uh, date on which he signed was here. So make sure you get this sign. So from the person whom you are getting the apartment, either the broker or who, whoever has the legal authority of the apartment, you get that sign here. But let's say once you moved into the apartment and you have registered this melter setter and now someone wants to live with you in this apartment uh, wherein you are already living, let's say your wife comes in later, which was my case. In that scenario, I can sign here. So since I'm already living in, I can sign for her saying that uh, I undertake, I undertake her responsibility or I, I'm, I'm authorized to you know, sign this place. So I, I would sign here in case I'm already moved in, I have already moved in and I have the Meldesetel submitted prior. You know? So that is the case when I can sign it for my wife. Yeah, so that's the form. The second is the second page, is just the information. Uh, I would just print out both and take it there but only this part is to be submitted but just for safety take both and along with this make sure you take your passport uh, and let's say marriage certificate and birth certificate I, I prefer to keep all the documents with me so I took my passport my birth certificate and in case of my wife I also took her marriage certificate in case the authorities ask it you know so take all these documents and uh, where you have to go so it's mentioned here but it was not very clear uh, for me uh, but somebody suggested me to just search for this word you know magistratious and then you just specify perks armed so you specify this and then specify the district that you are living in so let's say you are living in the second district so you can just type 2 and then it will automatically suggest you 
and then you can see here the address so this is the address you would like to go in case it is the second district now if you see in this uh, addresses for all the districts there is a particular address you know so for for if you see here for second district it's car milliter gas in nine and nine and if you see here it's the same okay for second district it's here for third it's here but there is nothing for fourth same is the case with sixth so in that case what i would suggest is and what was suggested to me is you just search for four district so once you search for four district you would see where you have to go so in google suggest me fifth and that's where i had to go in case you are not sure i would double check on phone or if you don't mind going there whatever is suggested and then checking with the authorities then that would be good as well so you can just confirm i am from fourth district can i submit the merit detail here if they say yes then nothing like it else you can ask them um, but in my case it was straightforward i just typed in fourth since i was in fourth district i got this address i went there and they accepted it so i believe that's how it is to be done for the other districts as well as you can see the uh, there are most of the districts are there only i guess three or four districts are not there four six is missing eight is missing and then there is in 14th is missing i guess that's it so about four addresses are missing okay four districts are missing yeah so once you go there you submit the documents and uh, yeah it is free of charge as i specified you know you don't have to pay anything you will get a document of registration so keep that with you every time now okay let me st stop the recording okay the mail settled document so once you submit the document uh, you would get another document from the officer and keep that document with you always you know this document is required for everything uh, like you know if i want to open a bank account i need to show this document so and there are many other places where they ask this particular document as proof of residence so please keep this in handy don't lose it uh, uh, and you should be fine so i just want to let you know so that's it and hope this information was useful uh, again if i have been saying it repeatedly if there was any mistake please do let me know in the comment section and in case there was some wrong pronunciation or grammatical mistake either in english and german i know definitely in german uh, then please forgive me uh, so until next time auf wiedersehen